the evidence as it was presented in this case, um, I believe fell short of a number of things. Um, and I have closed my arguments in looking holistically at the evidence. How the judge treats the evidence is totally and completely up to the judge in relation to it. I'm of the view that the, the investigation was not thorough. Uh, it lacked uh, the type of completeness to bring conclusively what really transpired. This is a case entirely on circumstantial evidence. And I think in dealing with circumstantial evidence, they ought to have been more coming from the investigation itself, which would have lent to uh, a clearer picture of what actually transpired. So basically that was what I presented to the court and I pointed out to the court what were some of the, 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 uh, the, the shortcomings and let's see if the court will agree in relation to that. As I said, it's totally up to the court at the end of the Sir, day. What would you say uh, to those who believe that maybe you, you downplayed the evidence against your client? Would you, what would you say to that? Well, I didn't really downplay the evidence against my client. I have submitted that there is no evidence against my client and the court is to either agree or disagree as to whether there is evidence or not. I believe it was not a disputed fact that the deceased was at the home of my client and I have agreed on that. I've never disagreed with that. My client never disagreed with that. As opposed to whether there was any plan or plot or, or, or intention to kill the deceased is where I am waiting for the evidence and many of us are waiting for the evidence as well. And those are the issues that I brought before the court and the court is going to review that evidence and see whether they agree or they disagree. So.